Welcome to Demolition Ranch. This episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Everyone has heard about Raid, but did you know that it's Raid's two year anniversary? That's right, Raid burst on the scene two years ago. And since then, Raid has only gotten bigger and Raid has only gotten better. Jeez. I love going through the champion index and checking out all the best champions, looking at all their skills, comparing and contrasting which one will help me get to victory. You can pick a guy who's big and strong, or you can pick a guy who has awesome magic abilities. It's up to you. This month is Raid's two year anniversary, and the schedule is absolutely packed with amazing events. They've got six straight weeks of anniversary events and tournaments running from March 1st all the way through the middle of April, all of them with insane prizes to win. They're even launching their first ever clan versus clan tournament to give players a chance to compete directly against another clan to see who comes out on top. And if that's not enough, they're also releasing the first champion in the badass looking Shadow Confection, which I can't wait to see. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on them. Raid's already huge and their whole anniversary event makes it an awesome time to join the Raid community, so don't wait around. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. So what are you waiting for? If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. And if you're a new player, you get a free epic champion, Joden, who's amazing for the Doom Tower, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Rewards are only available for the next 30 days and are only available to new players. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. We've been getting tons of comments asking Matt, can a concrete mixer full of concrete stop bo No, we haven't, we haven't got any of those comments, but I was wondering, because I've been doing some construction, seen a lot of concrete poured. Concrete can stop bullets, but everyone always shoots dry concrete. So I was like, what if we shoot it when it's wet and see if it stops a bullet? So we're going to put it in this mixer and shoot a full mixer full of concrete to see if it stops a bullet. Be back in just a second. Oh, it's really heavy and stinky. We bought two of these in case like one we got shot at too much and it got holes in it and didn't work, but then one fell out of the back of an El Camino and you can hear it trying to. It's a little warped. So we're, we're down to one. This one works good though. Check this out. We got a concrete mixer full of concrete. I just, dang it, I stepped in some that we spilled. We're good to go over here. We are going to stand back, shoot this thing. I'm interested in two things. One, can we pierce the concrete mixer bowl? And two, if we can, can we make it through all the concrete and out the other side? There's only one way to know, Demolitia. First up, 22 long rifle. You guys haven't actually seen this gun in a long time. This is the Henry US survival rifle. Chambered in 22. Long rifle. We're gonna fire it straight. I'm gonna shoot low on that thing and see if we can make it in there. Oh no, we got a hole. Oh yeah, we are barely looking at that. Dang, so the 22 went in there, all the way in, I'm pretty sure. And that stuff's just so thick, it's not coming out very fast. Okay, interesting, but the 22 went in there, did not come out. We still have a 22 bullet in there. Let's step it up and see if we can make something all the way through it. I got concrete on my Maxim 9. This is the Silencer Co. Maxim 9, chambered in 9mm. It's suppressed, as you can see, and we have subsonic ammo, which is good. Subsonic ammo should make it not penetrate as well on this concrete. Definitely went in and splashed a bunch. Wait, it didn't go in. Crazy. So it splashed all that out the top without even going in. Cool, so somehow our 22 long rifle is a better penetrator than our nine. It was a subsonic nine, but I'm still surprised that it didn't go through when the 22 went right through. Okay, let's step it up. Okay, we have a supersonic jacketed hollow point. Hollow point's also not good at penetrating, so we'll see how it does on this. Back. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. 
Thanks, Phil. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Dang it. Hey, guys! <laughs> you okay? Still recording? It's still recording! Hello! You're alive! Help is on the way, good buddy. This is our brand new GoPro, too. It's a 9. GoPros don't last very long around Demolition Ranch. Okay. I think we're good to go, actually. Looks pretty good. Next up, 357 Magnum. Very fast moving round, about the same diameter as a nine millimeter, but going really fast out of this Henry mare's leg. Look how pretty this thing is with the brass and the wood. Okay, 357 Magnum. Oh, we gotta turn her on. It's not a good test if this thing's not running, you know? Giddy up, partners. All right, obviously this is gonna go through. Will it go through both sides though? That is the question. Dang! It's leaking! Oh yeah, okay. This is fine. Oh my gosh, the GoPro got messed up again. 3.7 Magnum, actually not leaking when it's not spinning. When it was spinning, it was leaking a lot. Dude, this flex tape? Not bad. We're bringing out all the guns you haven't seen in a long time. This is a kel Sub-2000. Actually a gun I really, really liked. Chambered in 5.56, takes AR mags, and what's cool is it folds up to be a very small package. It does shoot like this, and these Magpul mags don't fit in here. It's like they do, and I thought they didn't. They don't, you can't open it with them. When you have just the steel mags though, you can open this right around the mag. But it will shoot like this. I'm not going to though, because that would be, that would be kind of difficult. So 5.56 five, is for sure gonna go through, because this is a fast moving round. It's the same round that's shot out of an Air 15, obviously. But will it go through both sides? That is the question. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. This is the 5.56 five, entrance right here. Kind of looks like an exit wound, but it's so tiny. That's it, that's our hit. Very boring. Not even really enough for that concrete to pour out. It's just sort of oozing out of that hole. Next up is the SOCOM 16. Basically a really short close quarter combat M1A. So this is chambered in 308. We've got our little scout scope on it. And we're gonna launch a 308 straight into our concrete barrel over there. That went through the most concrete so far and seemed to almost knock over our whole barrel. Which does make sense because that's our entry right there. Oh no, that's the 556 entry, right? I think that's where the 556 was. Maybe that one was it. One of those, oh yeah, that's definitely 308. So that's our entry. Oh, it pressurized it so much that this hole we covered up, it started stretching out that tape. Weird, did you do it on all of them? Yeah. Weird. Looking like nothing is going through to the other side. That's still our 22 hole there. We're gonna have to go bigger again? This is, I'm sorry guys. I was hoping the 22 would make it through, but we'll just, we'll get a bigger gun for you. Serbu RN50, and we're gonna shoot a blue tip 50 BMG out of it, which is the explosive round. Go ahead and load this thing in here. Also just got this gun and tried to turn on the sight and realized the battery's dead. Uh, I end up leaving batteries on a lot because I have a lot of guns and I, I'm just gonna send it. Um, we'll see if I can make this thing work. R50, fire it! I forgot putting it next to a tree throws the bark all on your face. Boom. <laughs> the muscle break just blasted me in the face. We hit something. Direct hit in the pipe underneath it. Okay, let me try to get, oh, short from the backside. It's a way big hole in the backside, if you know what I mean. Huh? Pretty good, right? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it again. Round two. This time I'm gonna shoot a black tip. This is a penetrator round at that barrel. Got it! Oh, I just got hit with I got concrete on my arm. It actually did skim it. So it went in. Oh yeah. So it went in there. Our level of concrete is about right here. It was. Went in there and came out right there. 
Uh, sweet. Okay. Well, 50 BMG does not care about your concrete. Went in under the level, came up through the level, and this was about where the level was, and it came out the top right there. 50 BMG penetrated around. Cannot be stopped by concrete. Wet, wet concrete. Probably, probably dry concrete would have stopped it. I'm going to rip it with the 308 again into the tank a few times, and then I might try to take out that motor. Woo! Alright, let's see if I can take out that motor. Stone cold killer. So the physics behind knocking this thing over is pretty weird because it just got hit with the 308, but I guess this thing's top heavy, of course. And then all of the 308's energy was dumped into this. If you just shot just the metal, it would just go through. But because it has all the concrete in it, it took all that energy and pushed it this way enough that the top heavy thing went ahead and fell all over. It's pretty weird. And then, I mean, that was a... That was a pretty good shot right into our motor right there. Straight up in, oh, it's hot. It's, it's real warm, it's a real warm motor. All right, I know you guys are super pumped to see this concrete video. Let me know, uh, we got some other stuff coming up. Gonna shoot ladders and hammers and we're gonna have, we got a screwdriver video. It's gonna be insane, not really. But we do have a really cool video coming out soon and it's a, it's kind of a level two of a video we did in the past that did super good. Got like five million views really quickly. We're, we've upped the ante a little bit on that. So be sure to come back, check that out. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dimmons and Rich. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact line. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.